Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Frostpunk! Well, we've got Doom coming in. Apparently. People are just walking across the streets and being like, hey, there's Doom! We don't want any of that. Is that road gonna be fine? I think so? Yeah, that should be fine. If not, we'll just double it up like that. And we'll add a road over here. There we go. And then we can send people to work in the mines. Because if there's one thing we need, it's more coal. Clearly. Achievement, Shai Hulud Summoner. For having four coal thumpers working at once. So, you know, that's totally it. I think we need. More people working. So that we can tell them what they need foreman. Obviously. Uh, you are heated. Get people to work there. Work day is up. Return work day is up, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, we've got some sick people, but they're going to be treated slowly. Mark one Islander. Yeah, 95% efficiency on our uh, things is pretty nice. You're going to work on coal. Or rather, you're going to store coal because we need more stockpile space for coal. It's getting a little bit ridiculous. I love everything about it. If we're dropping down to temperature 1, that's fine. We're gonna have a temperature drop tomorrow. That's not quite so fine. The uh, road here is finally built. We did put people to work here, that's fine. Don't currently have a heater. But you do have the steam hub connected now. Speak of heaters! We've just got advanced ones. Because we decided to have automatons doing research as well. Because, that, you know, why not? Don't need the scouts, don't need the medical integration, really. Coal mining optimization? I mean, maybe. We're, we don't have a hothouse, I don't really care about hothouses. We have enough food coming in as well. Let's go optimize the coal mines. Sure. So we can diggy diggy hole. And we're gonna journey up to like level three. I guess it's gonna get cold tomorrow. And that would suck. So let's not have any of that. We've got more people coming in. Looks like another 60 people. That's all well and good. Coal's doing fine. Food's doing fine. Healthcare's doing fine. We cured a lot of people. 100 vacant beds. So we're gonna have like. 40, including 20 in the care house. That's a transport. Uh, weather's a bit different. But, yeah. We also have everything explored. Everything. It's pretty good. We're gonna have to go pop down another um, hunter's hangar to remain at a comfortable amount of food. You know, that's not a bad thing. We can make it happen. We've got more people coming in soon. Uh, storage limit reached. The third wave! The third group of refugees is here. They're on the verge of collapse. Exhausted by their journey and tending to the gravely ill and injured with them. Their leader, Nansen, isn't among them. We're evacuating everyone we can, but many stayed behind with those who were too ill to travel. Nansen amongst them. God of mercy on us all. On us all, I think. It's a bit of a typo. The Great Frost is coming! Shall we let them in? Yes. 50 gravely ill people. But we get an achievement for being compassionate and- Oh god. What looms ahead? Sir, we can clearly see what the refugees were running from. The Great Frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They just need a day or two to prepare their instruments and install them in the beacon. Oh, yeah. The map instantly decided to rotate. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's a... That's a big wall of snow. We've got more points of interest, though. Icy crevices. Oh. That doesn't look like snow. That looks like we're staring into the heart of the universe. That's bloody freezing. I'm gonna get frostbite. Oh, yeah. Temperature drops are real right now. 
I'm actually going to turn you up to max. The people will be warm. Uh, the amount of ill people will go down. Where are my infirmaries? We're going to give them extra rations. So that we can treat the people faster. We've got plenty of infirmaries anyway, so we should be fine. But this might kill some people. Yeah, we're going to start exploring, I guess. And we'll set another... Scout up as well. We'll be scout number six, only because we dismantled the other ones before. Which is totally fine. We're going to have to inspire the people working around here. To gather more coal. Otherwise our poor automaton isn't going to have too much of work to do. But we can't have automaton slacking on the job now, can we? But we're starting to the point we're starting to get to the point where I might actually wanna not form an everything. It's it's weird, I know. But we'll fix that with a new hunter's hut that we're about to finish up over here. So really, it's fine. We'll get like another 90 food-ish per day, which is quite insane. How are my infirmaries doing? Eh, going to treatment, going to treatment, that's taking a long time. 15 hours of treatment, but it's taking quite a long time. I don't know, we could maybe do with another one. More efficiency. This entire tree is done, so we can safely ignore it. Uh, stereoscopic lenses. Gauge the severity of incoming storms, let's do that, that sounds good. That sounds strangely relevant right now. That's gonna be more food for all the refugees. Currently up to 609 people, which is not, you know, nothing to sneer at. Put more people to work over there. Should be able to gather from all of those. Eh, it'll be fine. We won't survive this. We've got eight days to research that, that's fine. That's an easy research. We have to prepare if we want to have any chance of survival. Yeah, that's true. We are prepared, so it's fine. The only thing our heart might desire is more resource huts. And I will provide. My dear citizens, I will provide the resource huts. <laughs> so what else would you build, right? Well, that would build on top of things, which is... Eh? Very annoying little corner over there. But we've managed to squeeze two more in. So that's going to be more coal. Maybe a bit of food as well. We might build some houses here at some point, because this is being heated right now and nobody's got any real use for it. It kind of depends if we're going to find more people. I think we will. Uh, we're doing fine on food. You're going to do that, that's fine. People are going to go explore things now, and just like work, and stuff. I didn't see that I had an outpost there, that's, that's cool. A little like searchlight, yeah. I really love the architecture in this game. Temperature's only minus 50. I guess turning on all the heaters and stuff is a bit extreme. Don't really need to. Number of sick people staying roughly equal. Is there anywhere that I can squeeze some homes in that are well cared for? I think over here. Yeah, that'll be a good position. Just get a couple more. Good patrol. We've got a bit of discontent. Some unpopular decisions. Sure, why not? 
Look out, check it, everything's in order. I like it. More coal. We're up to 24,000 almost. Not bad at all. Resource generation. I might just put up a line of things over here. I just do that. Oh, there's another coal mine spot over there. Nice. I'm probably going to keep this place for more gathering huts and thumpers. So that they're all kind of in the same area. Getting a bit of dramatic music, which is kind of cool. I'm not sure if it's the most called for thing, but... I mean, there is a big storm on the horizon, I guess. So we've got the... Um, the things now. Just the lenses, yes. Those will be nice. Medical automaton. I don't think they work faster. But we also have, like, people there all day, so we don't really need them. We're gonna upgrade the coal mines. Clearly. Prepare for the storm. Sir, the scientists couldn't believe their eyes. But they've double and triple checked their calculations. They say the strongest winds of the storm will cause the temperature to plummet beyond anything we've ever experienced before. Hunting will be impossible. The plants in the hothouses will freeze. Everyone left outside the city will perish. And so will we, if we can't heat our homes properly. We have to prepare. Okay, okay, calm it down. Oh god! Generator's ready! We did what we could to raise the heat output of the generator. That alone might not be enough, all our home... Yeah, okay. So we've got seven days to prepare for the storm. Uh, it told us about the cold, but... Apparently, like, doing all the generator upgrades was enough. So that makes me happy. Recall all the scouts and outposts. Rescue survivors, so there's more people coming in. Gather a week's worth of food for everyone. That is 3,400. Yeah, we can do that in our sleep. That's fine. Coal just keeps coming in faster and faster. We'll be fine. Uh, we still have 53 ill people, so we've got some more coming in. People are abandoning this hunter's hut for some reason. Uh, we'll put another hunter's hangar down, I think, then. We want to put it over there. Sure, why not? These are being heated, right? Yeah. Oh well. Coal's doing fine, food's doing fine. I think we can safely say that we can stop pushing the researchers with Foreman. Except for maybe the one that's got the automaton, why not? We've reached the icy crevice. We found the dying people Nansen's refugees told us about. They're sheltering in an icy crevice. These people are on their last legs, despite taking shelter in an ice crevice. Many of them suffer from heavy frostbite and hypothermia. We can help them still if we act quickly and bring them to our city. They can't stand on their own. Some of them can hardly speak. Yeah, bring them. Do it. We'll build another... Uh, we'll build another infirmary. That will be heated. There we go. It's going to take five more people, but that's fine. We'll start healing people up faster because we've got a lot of sick people coming in from outside now. Food supplies are ready! Hurrah! We're just going to keep stockpiling more, obviously. That does raise hope, though. Two quests are successful, minus one storm is coming. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen anyway. Might as well be ready for it. Good. Yeah, you guys are gonna get a lot... You're gonna recover faster. Yes, that's words. Camp Vulcan. People are moving here. So we've got more survivors here that we can rescue. And so we will. 
I might research the third scout team just for that then. Technology. Yeah, we'll, we'll get another scout team up and running. Put five engineers to work here. Where do I have people working that are not engineers? Probably in here. We'll switch them out so that we can get more people on the food. We are going to need it. Amount of sick people's going down. It's to being administered now in the uh, infirmary. At least that's what I think is happening. Wall drills. Useful to have. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll manage. That wall is coming slowly towards us, though, and I don't like the look of it. I really don't. Scouts reach a deep hollow. The train suddenly drops here into a deep hollow. There are wounded and dead bodies at its rocky bottom. Those people must have fallen into this hole with, while escaping the storm. At least half of them didn't survive the crash, but it seems we could rescue the wounded. That is, if we strap them to our sleds and bring them to our city quickly. Do it. It's our duty. To them. As soon as people are in here, I'm probably going to tell them... Actually, let's do it now, as a test. Okay, it does apply a general healing buff instead of just applying to people that are actually there for treatment. Cool. I mean, it raises the efficiency, so that's kind of how that works. There's more people. 60 people, 17 gravely. Oh, dear. Right, you. Head to Camp, Vul head to Camp Vulcan. We're going to bring all these people home. We're going to help them. People are cycling through the, like, four infirmaries that we have. Rather quickly, which is good. A lot of capacity to treat them, but we're going to have to build more houses. I want you to be 24 hour. Just like you. We are going to put down a ring of houses over here. And we will find somewhere to put another guard station. Like two houses over here, and then put a guard station over there. That should make sure that it applies to pretty much everyone here. I don't care about one or two houses. Damn, I do care about the rest of them. Yeah, that's just gonna happen. That's fine. Right, that's a lot more housing. Some of them need a street. There we go. Fix this reading issue. It might not be pretty, but it will be ours. And our people will love us for it. Still got sick absences, but honestly, we'll be fine. Coal is going down a bit faster now. More scouts, which is nice. We'll be able to pull the people in faster now. I could put down a charcoal kiln. Takes 70 wood, 210 coal. We could also go for better coal mines, sure. But we do have to pull our people back at some points. So we'll keep an eye on it. Make another scout team, please. You are gonna go to Camp Compass. Because why not? We'll keep an eye on our infirmaries so that we can keep them rolling people through quickly. I think we really need a lot of our heaters right now, so we're gonna... Oh, that's a steam hub. 
Whoops. Turn those down. So we save a lot of our coal. I probably should have done that a long time ago, but I didn't really care at the time. We'll turn them back on if we need them. Which I don't think we will initially. Yeah. Resource depots are currently livable. I don't care about the resource depots. These buildings are cold. So we will keep them for now. I'm going to take the automaton off of here. Put engineers in here. And then this one is going to turn off the heater. And take in an automaton. We're going to be smart about it. Although you are... Oh, right. So I didn't actually have to do that, but still, it's fine. Darn micromanaging. Uh, we'll put some engineers in here. It's gonna keep people hopeful. Runaway child! Sir, a man is here to see you. He says that his daughter ran away after the news of the storm spread. He wants to borrow a scout sled. Wow. A scout sled and go after her. She's a big girl. She was always very impulsive. And she scares easily, the father explains. I must find her before she's lost for good. She's all I have left. Stop him. Give him food. You know what? Go for it, buddy. I can miss the food. But you can't miss your daughter. Go for it. Godspeed, sir. In this bloody world. With frost covering the planet. The only thing we have left is each other. Right. Now we're going to plonk down more stuff. If I can find a place for it. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink. Yoink, yoink, yoink. That's more like it. I am so proud of this. That is going to be so much more cool. I love it. Scouts have returned safely to the city. More people. Alright, send you out immediately. Head to the snow burrows. One of the three places where we'll have to rescue people from, according to the quest. One person became gravely... ...ill, that is. We'll make sure to... ...churn up the treatment speed again. Get him going through the system quickly. The sooner you get better, well, the better, really. Another temperature drop, so we're gonna do go down to minus 70 now. We'll be fine, Mr. Warren. We have to prepare. We are prepared. Trust me. The only thing I have to do is pull back the outpost at some point. I'm gonna dismantle you. I'm gonna send you to the fishing village. There we go. It's gonna take you six hours. We don't really need to steal anymore. Although I've been journeying through it at a bloody rapid pace. There we go. That'll get us some more steel. I don't think we really need the outpost anymore, though. Well, instead we'll use it to squeeze in a bit more food. I don't believe you about the... It, I'm, I mean, we might be capping on the amount of cookhouses that are doing efficient work. Oh, good. Lord, we're down to minus 70 now. Everything's still livable, right? Uh, that's steam coal mines. Good. We'll get the advanced ones. That's 900 coal per day. I mean, we'll do the research, I guess. Like, all the installation stuff's done over here. The whole house is not gonna work, so why bother? 
Uh, we'll, we'll go for the steamed Waldrill, actually. Why not? We're also going through our food rather rapidly. No time to waste. We've got work to do. Yeah, you guys need that. That's fine. So do you. Like, we'll do it just because it's too cold. It's not going to break my back or anything. Hardly. Right, on the topic of gathering more coal. Get everyone to work harder, but better, faster, stronger. I'm not going to tell the automatons to do it, although you might be able to at some point. Uh, you should probably, but you're already doing things, so that's fine. It's getting kind of hard to spot the buildings now. This can only be a good thing, though. This can only be a good thing. I might build more automatons at some point. Just because it would help. You currently have a lot of people absent. That is not what I expect from my uh, medical facilities, honestly. I expect better of you. You have a life-saving task before you. Everyone's doing things. Houses have been built. We've got 177 vacant beds. That ought to cover, like, anyone who's about to show up on our doorstep. Get more coal. I might set up extended shifts in the coal mines. You've reached a thing, built an outpost. It's gonna send us 100 raw food, which isn't a lot. But it'll help, right? Store more food. Store more coal. There we go. Right. Extended shift. Work harder. Extended shift. Work harder. All the humans in the gathering huts. Work longer. And harder. Preferably. Uh, we did another research. We'll get the coal ki uh, the charcoal kiln, why not? You're all gonna work harder as well. I'm not sorry. I just want more coal. Please understand. I mean, you really should understand. The survival of our city is at stake. go. There's a world map, but not planning to look at world map. Well, we're fine. You, treating people. You, treat more people. More faster, more better. There we go. We'll get it down slowly. We've reached Camp Vulcan. You, Cole. What can you tell me? We can... See that its inhabitants are busy packing. They've dismantled a couple of huts to build improvised sledges. Smart thinking. Well done. Ever the skeptic. The skeptic. You're going the wrong way! The scientists mistook us for refugees. But after we tell them about their city, they're nonplussed. It's probably too close to the storm to withstand it. Well, you might consult Nansen on that if you reach him in the south. Their work here is done. We should convince them to join us, so we could show them our city. Yeah, bring them quickly and safely. We're already going to all the other places, that's just transports. Snow walls coming in. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Currently on minus 70. We can still turn on all the heaters and whatnot, so we're kinda good. Charcoal kin. Produce more coal? Sure. Forty-four six still. I might just put down another infirmary because they treat people safely, quickly. Ten beds and things and... We're getting a lot of people in that are not feeling too great. Just a thing to think about, really. Coal's doing fine, at least. We're gaining, like, 
5k per day roughly now. Because why not? Workday ends for some of you. Just keeping an eye on all the workplaces to actually, you know, keep people alive. You now turn down because things off. Freezing. Okay. We produce 33% uh, more coal in our charcoal kins. And we'll get another 33%, sure. That's, you know, pretty decent now. Our steel supplies have caught up as well. Gonna get more food in and stuff. We'll put, ooh, a lot of buildings. We'll upgrade the mines, why not? And then we'll put down more hunter's huts. Uh, where will I put them? Good question. We don't have a lot of space in the city. I want to try and like not look at the obvious corner in the bottom right now. Cause there's still still plenty of space here. Don't get me wrong. If we put it over there. We probably won't be able to build a building, which would be a little bit annoying. We'll just put you over here. And we'll put another coal mine over there. Let's get a regular one for now. Get a road, like that. That'll be great. We could put some more buildings over there. We could put some more resource depots in places over here as well. Roads are getting a bit mangled, but hey. That's how we do around here. Reach another place, that's good. Every place has got maximum workers. Let's go check out the uh, camp compass. The people living in this camp are packed and ready to go. All the tents are empty, they're leaving almost nothing behind. A small group of scientists is finishing the loading of their supplies. They work efficiently, but in silence, looking somewhat dejected. We're mostly helping with the evacuations now, one of them tells us. We're supposed... Uh, we used to study the Earth's magnetic field. But there are more important things to worry about now. Like survival. Escort them, that's 19 more people. More places to escort. Uh, more places to explore, not escort. Getting that extra food in as well, that's gonna be useful. Yeah, I think our gathering houses are capped, which is fine. Because you take... You produce 40 per hour and you work like... Yeah, so we're gonna have to... Where's the gathering houses again? I'm getting kind of lost now because of all the constant rotation and stuff. There was a cookhouse somewhere. At some point. Your steel works, okay, I can use that to orient... That's the mines, yeah, so cookhouse is right here. We're gonna have to set them on extended shifts, I'm afraid. It's because we just can't process all the food. See, there we go, that solves it. You'd think that'd be a good thing, but no. Scouts number five, safely arrived. Achievement, City of Man! We have homeless people? Really? How? We have 79 houses! Are you drunk? There's empty houses over here! Oh, there we go! That seemed to fix it? I was about to say, how in the bloody hell would we, after building a hundred buildings, not have the bloody housing capacity? I am insulted. 
Okay, you found the snow burrows. Survivors. A group of barely alive people hiding in several burrows. All these people are deathly ill. It's a wonder that they're still alive. The snow burrows are only a little less freezing than the surrounding icy wasteland. Bring them home immediately. Okay, places are starting to freeze here now, so that's our cue to bug out soon. Oh well. Better those places than us, I guess. Cole's doing fine. We're gonna get back to work soon. Hmm. Right, more people can work and things. Hunter's hangar, just to make sure that we don't run out of food. Another one. Find somewhere that has regular people working. Oh, you don't... You're not being heated, are you? You are not. Okay, let's fix that. We will not give you an extended shift then, because that would kill you. It's bloody freezing right now. Do it like that. That's more resource space, so we could put in more coal. Squirrel it away for a good day, or a bad day rather. Because we're going to have a lot of bad days in the future. Oh boy. How will we manage against that monstrosity? That is a good question. I'm waiting for workers. I'm gonna put engineers here. And I put you in there. Uh, we did research. Charcoal kin bellows. I will go for the steam sawmill, I guess. Just so we can say that we finished out the research tree. Now where's the Charcoal kiln. It's right here. Produces almost 400, which isn't bad. But sure, we'll cram one in there. We'll get enough workers for it eventually, right? Gotta keep an eye on this, though. So I don't want my people to freeze. Understandably. Got some people on the way back. That should provide enough workers to do some more things. Got a lot of balloons flying around now with all the flying hunters. There we go. We've treated pretty much all the sick people now. Which is good because we're going to have a lot, another wave of them soon. No time to waste. Yeah, you're freezing until that gets built. Give you a heater for now. That's only going to take you up to coal, which is insane. There we go. Now we can extend a shift you. Mwahaha. We'll patrol to keep people happy. So we have a 23 overtime work. That is a buttload. We'll go back to the uh, gathering posts, I guess. Get them some foreman because we solved the food issue. So we can safely presume that we will be fine. Yeah, the, the gathering posts are fine for now. Keyword being for now. You only need five workers, wow. Nice. That's gonna be more coal, more coal, more better. We need to be prepared to boil the hell out of this storm. And you know, keep people busy. More engineers, I like it. I'm gonna put the engineers to work here in the kiln. And increase the productivity. Good stuff. Still have five days to go. We saved everyone we could from the places we knew were still sheltering survivors. God help the rest. 
Like a rock, sure, we'll check that out. You're gonna go to Camp Meteor. Seems to be abandoned. Okay, like, we gotta move soon. We gotta move real soon. Those outposts will not stay good for a long time. We finally got over the fact that, oh my god, there's a, uh, a storm about to murder us. Which, you know, sensible idea. I'm glad people took it up. We have a lot of people that are not living near watch houses, etc. But at this point, I'm too beyond caring. Food's definitely going up, which is nice. Uh, advanced wall drill? Sure. Steam wall drill, we'll upgrade it, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it up to, like, a little bit more. And I think the rest of that's gonna be automatons. Because they work all day. They don't care. They really don't. It's great. Patience, not in my book. Get rid of them. The socially acceptable way. Treating them. There we go. Yeah, those places are starting to freeze now. I, I don't think we can... Yeah. You know, Go home. I'm not gonna risk people's lives out there. Goodbye, Tesla City. I'm gonna miss you. We'll get more wood from our automaton now, which is good. We can turn that into more coal. There we go. You produce more food. Uh, temperature's gonna go back up soon, so we can save some more coal. I'm gonna build another cookhouse. I'm gonna squeeze it in over here. I'm gonna turn off the extended shifts on the other cookhouses. And I'll give you foreman. We'll give them food to make more food. That is how it works. Advanced wall drill's been built. Not much resource left. Which is nice. We will build you. Got another automanomenon. Lose up to 600 per standard workday. Yeah, we'll send automatons into the steam coal mines, why not? Hello. Hungry mother! Sir, a woman has come to plead with you. She wants more food, but the cook says she's already had her allowance. I beg you. Your men mean well, but they must have made a mistake. I need two rations. One for me, one for my sick child. Go for it. <laughs> We've got 3,900. I am not gonna do troublematic stuff about like, Oh, you you want one more food? Preposterous. Meh. Ah, no, we're, go we're gonna be good. You want it? Go have it. There. Food solved. We're doing it. This house is cold. How is that? Why is that a thing? That is not good. Where is your heater hub? Has to be a heater hub. Right here. Congratulations, you're being promoted. 24 hours a day. Lovely, that's gonna fix that. That's gonna make less people ill. Everyone's comfortable, I love it. Care house is full, but that's because they're sick people. Right. Yeah, we're doing fine. Your storage limit is reached. More foreman. There we go. Wood storage is full. This can only be a good thing. Fans wall drill. There we 
we go. More of you. Add in a little road so that our people can get there faster. We won't survive this. Actually, we will. We will be fine. Temperature goes down, so we turn the generator down. Food theft causes riots. We've investigated the discrepancies between the raw food use and output of the cookhouses. I did notice a little bit of that. Turns out cooks are stealing food. People are furious. Caught three thieves. They've wanted to secure their families. Won't address that. It's going to mean disconsent will rise. We're going to post guards to supervise them. I'm not going to banish them. The whole idea is that we're trying to save people here. I can understand their methods, but I'm not condoning them. Yeah, because, yeah. You know, that does not quite add up, I think. The math is off. Oh well. It's not the end of the world, right? You've reached the Jagged Rocks! The surface looks like it's been fractured by the shock of an underground explosion. There might have been an underground base here. Ruins of the underground base reek of sulfur. Must have been a warm and sheltered place, but now exploring its depths is dangerous. Exploring the ruins, we found a briefcase signed by Nansen. Seems to contain some interesting blueprints. We found Nansen's sword watch as well. God, that is getting close to the storm. Like, these are frozen. We can probably reach it. I hope. Final transports are coming in. Oh no, that's the outpost teams. Not transports. Advanced coal mine. I, I mean... Will you bring us interesting technology? Kind of doubt it. And we'll get the hothouse, I guess. Which will be done, like, instantly. The only reason it's taking about four hours is because we don't have any foreman running around. There's a lot of people going to build. Uh, we built... We've researched the advanced coal mine. Cool. Coal! Get it? Coal? Ha! <laughs> We've reached the fortified hut. Tell me. The fence that surrounds the Arctic hut has been destroyed. Shattered as a pack of wild animals went through it. They built the station designed to withstand the Arctic climate, but they clearly underestimated the fierce Arctic fauna. The doors and windows have been bashed in by heavy blows, letting inside the cold and snow. Scientific and life support equipment froze a burst, dooming the base and inhabitants. More tech. Cool. Go over there, please. And I think that might be the last point of interest. You. You. Coal. 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 That will be nice. We'll add in some food rations. Coal. Right, we've got the teams. Disband you. Disband you. Because you need to disband them, otherwise they won't count as being called back to the city, and they will still die. Uh, I'm looking for a thing, I'm looking for a thing. Charcoal kale! There. So we've got a lot of wood, and I would like more coal. There we go, 15 automanomenons. And I get an achievement for City of Steel. For having said 15 automanomenons. No researching the things. We could have probably stayed for one more transport, but that would be pushing it. And I don't think we need it. Really? Charcoal kiln. Ironically, next to the, char uh, to the coal mine. Bit chilly. Low risk of getting ill. We've got like eight people being ill. It's not a big deal. Like it 
really isn't a big deal. Not a charcoal kiln. How much do you gather per hour? That's 43. You know what? I'm gonna set a automa- No, uh, we're gonna- We're just gonna keep people working here. The automatons will be able to work in the gathering huts. And provide more. Only slightly more, though. Nansen Stormwatch, right. Before that, food's still the same, weirdly enough. Coal. Yeah. Coal's nice. We're gonna stockpile a crap ton of it. Right. This sturdy building could withstand a severe arctic storm. It's crammed with sophisticated scientific equipment. Yet the camp seems to be abandoned. I wonder why! Really, I wonder why. We find a note left by Nansen and his co-workers. The expected cold is hard to predict. It will be way below any temperature ever recorded on Earth. Gale Force 10. As the jet stream seems to abate on descent. Afterwards, the climate shall start improving slowly. We're moving towards this apocalyptic storm to confirm our predictions. Farewell, and may God protect you. Thanks, dude. I'd say good luck to you, but there's no way you're coming back from that. Right. Two sick people. Hothouse insulation that we really don't need. I'm just doing this to beat the... Um, to get the, the text that we're going to get. And just have them be like higher ones. Right, Camp Meteor. Build a larger around a large hole in the ice. Might be the impact crater of a meteorite. There's a block and tackle attached to the top of the steel framework built over a hole. We start... Oh god, that's a giant hole. We search the remains of the camp. Must have been some scientific operation dedicated to the research of whatever punched this hole in the ice. Now the place is deserted. Carry on, there's nothing to do here. Another large crater. No activity. Cool, so... Two more things, and then I think we're done. Exploring the Frostland. At least I bloody better hope so. It's getting cold! Also getting full of food. Reach the ice caves. Frozen bodies. Must have run out of fuel for the stoves. By the dead bodies, we have found many crates filled with papers. A testimony to the extensive research dedicated to fluctuations of the Earth's magnetic field. The scouts don't get it, and they're, it's too heavy to carry. Scattered convoy, few light snowcats. Sure. Check it out. Uh, wolf patrol. Oh, that's it. Okay. I said wolf patrol. Get hope up. Work day is up. Return your tools. Work day is up. I might just shut you down, factory. We'll see. Either way, we're up to 700 people now. That's not too bad. 42,000 coal. We still have four days before the storm hits. Temperature's gonna drop again. I'm gonna turn it up one notch. It's gonna make these livable. Hunting tactics. Yay! We'll go for the industrial hothouse. I think that's like the two technologies we still have to go. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing great. Your storage is reached. What a shame. I'm gonna take workers off of here. Automaton off of here. Switch them around. It's because you will be able to get a foreman now. Slightly cheesing it, that's fine. I will make one more, because we have one more steam coal. Uh, one more steam core, so we're going to make one more automaton. I like them. Large crater. Hard to judge the size from a distance. Camp's empty. Crater's fresh with broken ice around the rim. We searched the camp for clues of the scientist's fate and found none. Everything's in order. But not a perfect order. 
Looks like they went out to do something and did not come back. Maybe t they went into the crater. Maybe we were taken by a blizzard. Maybe both. You also get back now, please. Starting to get full on food. It's not the worst thing in the world. Resources, we'll build more depots if we can. Let's just squeeze them in, why not? We'll put some extra rations in there, that sort of stuff. Doom-mongering drunks! Sir, a dozen or so people got drunk, started hanging out by the outpost building and took to the streets. They were chasing after women! Yelling that we should have some fun before the storm kills us all. Banish them? It's a bit harsh. Just send them home. They're not gonna make people happy. Eh. I don't want to doom people by just being... Just... They disrupt the order, sure. It's not a reason to doom them to death in the snow. Food. Coal. Hole. We've reached a scattered convoy. Damaged by heavy blows, snow strolling and stained with what seems like buckets of blood. Inside damaged crawlers, we found several dead bodies. Few of them were torn apart, like they were partially eaten by some beasts. Polar bears, we think. We'll never know for sure. There's nothing useful to salvage, so let's get back to the city where the fires are hot and the women are being yelled at. That's just because you're not being heated. Which is fine. Coal, please, and thank you. What's our total coal, coal storage now? It's 56,000. But this will only last us for nine days, sadly. It's not like it's going down, though, but still. Right, welcome home. Uh, I'm gonna disband you. said we found interesting technologies. I don't think... Yeah, no, we didn't get any. So we might have just found, like, preset ones that we already had, and then we were like, oh, hey, cool. We'll compare notes, and we'll, like, see if any of them are limited edition. Like special Pokemons. Resources. Old house insulation? Sure, why not? And we yell at the scientists to do hard work faster. And longer. It's gonna be a fair boost. Come, we must work harder. Indeed, work harder, not faster. Can we max on food again? I think we might just be max on food. The only way to find out, right, is put another cookhouse down. There. I'm tempted to put down another coal thumper as well. Because we've got a lot of idle people. Steam coal thumper. Put it over here. Give them some resource gathering posts. Not like that. Resource gathering posts like that, there we go. Put a road like that. Pick you up. There's a steam up here. It's gonna tell us to burn all day. That is fine. Temperature drops are coming in, and that must be the actual storm, judging by the icon. It's gonna go down to at least minus 90. Yikes. You can have some engineers. I'll have selection. More efficient. Okay, great. Uh, 
food's doing fine. Like, seriously, food's doing fine. You can work harder. The heavy Scott, you can work harder. You work harder. You work harder. Everyone will work hard in the face of the end of the world. I want my coal, darn it. We'll dig up the entire world supply of coal. And you will like it. Yep, go for it. More huts over here. Can you use... Yeah, most of you can. Great. Guess what? More work. We crossed 50k! You are being idle. Guess we could just dismantle you then. Boop. I'll have selection. We're just crushing research. To kill time. Aesthetics, even though we don't need them. How are we looking? Some places are a little chilly. Getting some sick people in, but no real amounts of them. Right. Um, we'll put an end on Thomas on the work here so that people can get stuff all day. There we go. Paul's doing great. We're getting 16,000 per day. That is insane. That is actually insane. Right. Anything else that needs addressing, really? No, we're, we're pretty well prepared for the storm. Things are slowly freezing. Next I'll call any good old days. Good old days. Off go our flying hunters. I'm gonna put more resource depots down for food. Although, actually, we can still stockpile, like, raw food, right? So that's fine. And it turns out we're not being capped by our, um, hothouses. Which is always nice. Game doesn't really like it when I run on full speed. Or, uh, that's fine. Right, we've got the scout back. We've got the research. Uh, we're done in here now. Which is uh, a sight to behold. We're entirely done in here as well. Right? Yeah, looks like it. Behold. Our final research. And then everything will be researched. We will know everything there is to know about knowing things. Preparations are finished. The people you saved barely managed to reach the city in time. At least we have a critical supply of food ready. There's not much time left. We should use it to prepare whatever else we can. After the storm hits, there will be nothing we can do but wait it out. Hope rises. Wait for the storm to hit in like three days. Right. Storage limit reached. Storage limit near capacity. Yep. you are going to turn the generator higher now. But that'll be it for this episode. We've been preparing for the storm. Next episode, it's going to hit. And things will not be gentle. But neither will we be gentle. It's fine. Until next time. Have a good one, folks.